behind. It's Derek Watson, the Angry Dentist, here again. Uh, I am clearing the decks of a few product reviews. This is when I bought this practice, um, I inherited a very old and um, very cheap Chinese intraoral camera. So, um, and it finally blew up, so um, I decided to buy a new one. So, I have gone something a little bit um, more expensive, but still got it off Amazon. So, there are two, there were two which uh, I like the look of. So what do you do when there are two? I bought both. So this is the first one, just arrived. Oh no, no, no. Wait a minute. There are two boxes here. This may actually be both of them. Here we go. Don Guan China. And Dario, super clear USB intradental camera. Work with UK Excellence Examine Pro and blah blah blah. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, right, so we're gonna get to open them both. It'd be funny if they were identical, wouldn't it? I'll, um, I'll link the um, description to the cameras in the uh, notes. So, if whichever one we decide, and we might decide that neither of them are any good, or uh, I might just like to keep them both, but the idea is that I sort of test them and then and then keep one. So this is the Focus Dent MD740 USB Digital Intraoral Dental Camera by FavoritePlus.com, and this is the Dariu D A R Y O U. USB camera DY50. So, better make sure we don't get them mixed up. Now, I mean, you can get some idea of uh, how similar they are by looking at looking at these two boxes. Um, I don't know if they've got the same insides. They certainly they're certainly very similar, aren't they? In terms of uh, yeah, yeah. This is this got Focus Dent MD40 on the back, and this has got DY50 USB camera on the back. They both say QC Pass, and they've both got um, serial numbers <coughs> down down the bottom here, right right on the bottom. Very similar. They've got similar colour um, cameras. The only thing I would say slightly different is this one's got. The, the buttons are different. It's got, they've both got two buttons, and I think this one has got a, a light on it. So let's, let's just get this right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that one's that one. That one's that one. So they both come with a USB cable. They both come with a tiny CD, and this one comes with a holder and some screws. And this one comes with a holder and some screws. And the, the holder is it. They're very similar but not identical. So that's the camera. So um, the emphasis on the, the the camera is really on the how many pixels it's got. This one's got 1.3 megapixels and claims a resolution of 1280 by 960. And it says it's autofocus, which basically is Chinese shorthand for no focus or, or single focus, you know. Automatically already focused, and this one does it have the specifications? They'll be on Amazon. I've got both of these on Amazon. Specifications here we are pixel of picture 1600 by 1200, so they're claiming more pixels. Um, but it doesn't say much about the sensor, sensor for 480,000 COMS comms. Whatever that means, five, five to fifty resolution, and they've both got six LEDs on them. All right, going to um, set them both up, and then I'll um, I'll go set them up on this computer here. So 
let's have a quick look and see how easy that is to do. Now, probably on this computer it's not going to be at all easy because the, oh no, wait a minute, it does have a CD that comes out the side here. So, let's pop this tiny disc in. You probably can't see what I'm doing here, but I'm just turning this CD in the CD-ROM drive. I've got a sneaking suspicion the CD doesn't actually work on this, so we might have to abort that. I'll get back to you later when I've installed them and I've got a bit more information. Right, I've had a little muck about with the two cameras. I'm sort of keeping them separate in, in two boxes so I don't mix everything up because I, I think I'm I'm going to send one of these back. The, the um, one, first of all, as far as insulation goes, you don't need to worry about these little things. Um, literally, you just plug them in, and this is a Windows 10 laptop, and it's recognised it straight away as a USB camera, so it's not a, that's not a problem. Um, although, why it's not recognising it now, I don't know. But, oh no, that's right, because... Yeah, so, so you've got two buttons, you've got two buttons on here. Now, first of all, let me say, I think these cameras are, uh, the guts are, are probably pretty identical. I can't see any difference. The um, bottom one works the, is, is the power and works the LEDs. And the top one is called capture. Now, if you link this up to some dental software, this will not actually capture into the software. What this does, it should be marked freeze. It literally captures an image within the camera and so the camera image freezes and you can then at your leisure go to your dental software and then press capture on the dental software and that will then uh, obviously uh, capture the what well, well, the camera's frozen so if you want to um, it's it makes it a two-stage process you can of course just keep this live and uh, and uh, just keep pressing capture, capture, capture on your dental software. Um, but then obviously you have to keep this still and then, and then capture it there. But here you've got the option, if you, you, you think you've got everything in the frame, you can sort of freeze the picture and then, um, and then uh, read it into the, um, into the computer. I, <clears throat> I mean, I think a lot's claimed for these. This is the Dario is about 110 pounds, I think, something like that. The other one, the... Um, the MD740 uh, is about £10 more. I'll be right back. So what's the, the sort of essential difference between these? The Dario, I think, is the um, slightly cheaper one. I think it's uh, about 110 And the, uh, let's have a look, this uh, MD740 is about 120 I don't think they, I mean, as I say, internally I think they're the same. They, they call themselves autofocus. I'm not even at all sure they've got a lens in here. I think they, they, they may have a lens in here, uh, some, some sort of tiny lens, or it may be just a pinhole camera, because um, there's no, uh, there's very little depth of focus. It seems to me from just comparing the two, there's, there's less depth of focus on the Dario than there is on the MD740. Also, um, I've had a bit of buffering problems on the Dario, which means that uh, as you're sort of using the camera to look around the mouth, uh, the picture's freezing. Not much, but it is definitely freezing. And just a very, very quick test I've done on the 740, it's not, it wasn't freezing. Um, what else are the differences? Uh, I mean, as I say, otherwise, I think basically they are, they are identical. The only other thing I'm going to do quickly is compare the length of the cables. So, I think, again, identical, look, to within a centimetre. So, um, what you're, you know, if I had to guess, and really, with such a short test, um, it is only a guess as to which one of these is, is, you know, is worth the money, I would say the MD740 
is the one I would choose. Otherwise, they are almost identical in every respect. Um, what sort of pictures are you going to take with them? Well, really, you not, don't expect to get, you know, brilliant pictures with these. You're, because of the fixed focus, um, and they are focused, they say from 5 to 50 millimetres, but I would say they're, they're focused more from like 10 to 15 millimetres, um, which is basically a tooth. You can get a very high definition picture of a tooth, which is great if you're, you know, for reducing tangibility and showing the patient what um, you're talking about. If you tell them that they've got a cracked tooth or they need a scan and polish or something, that's fine. If you are after getting a picture of an arch, then forget it, because really the, the only picture these um, take is um, a picture of a tooth. Right? It, how can I? Uh, the best way of describing it is if, if the tooth from the molar is filling the frame then it will be in focus. The minute you sort of pull back a bit, try and get two molars in frame, probably get away with that. Trying to do a, a, a quadrant or a sextant or something, or even inside three to three, probably not. If you want to do a portrait, um, you know, so that you can put it on the system so you can recognize the patient, you'll never do a passport photo with these things. They're, they're just not designed to focus. I mean, you'll get the face, but it'll be completely blurred. Um, so, there we are, so that's it. I don't think there's anything more than that. I'll put the links to the um, cameras and everything in the, uh, the blurb below. And I, I think this Dariu, I'm afraid, is, is going to go back. They do, they both come with um, some protective sheaths. There we are, so, and again, these are identical and they're, the boxes Identical, the foam inserts are identical and everything. Uh, but if I was going to buy them again, I would buy two um, MD740s and, and not this Dario. Looks nicer, but um, really it just doesn't, um, I, I, I don't, you know, just from my five seconds test, uh, doesn't fill me with as much confidence. Okay, that's it. Onwards and upwards, angry dentist, see you soon.